Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite and Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. We're going to be doing monthly readings. We're on the fire signs at the moment. So we're going to be doing Leo. Okay, Leo. Oh, I've got a card that's upside down. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Yeah, if the story goes the other way, just reverse it, okay? All right, Leo, what's in store for you for January? And don't focus too much on the month. It could happen at any time. I feel that you may be a little bit too much in your head. You're not sleeping very well. You're probably up late at night thinking about some sort of sneaky behavior that happened with a partner. Okay. I do feel that you're trying to heal from this situation. You know, um, and you're trying to find your strength. Okay. I feel like you want to communicate with this person. Leo, okay, I, I feel that, you know, that, that there was some sort of partnership that you had, okay, the, the partnership was not, I don't feel it was out in the open, I feel like there was a bit, a bit of sneaky behaviour going on, okay, now, you had to make a decision here, you had to make a choice, okay, because you're, you were focusing more on one thing than the other, okay, um, but some truth and some clarity was revealed to you, okay? Maybe this person spoke some truth to you, all right? But you were trying to take control of a situation. You, you're trying to um, possibly go towards this person and communicate with this person, okay? But I kind of feel like the reason why you did this was because you had a lot of options in front of you. And the options, though, is going to create a lot of confusion, okay? So you, needed, you need to choose wisely what your decision is going to be or had been, okay? Because I feel like you're wounded, but you want to give something another try, okay? Um, one year from now, something is going to be different, completely different in your life, Leo, okay? Now, I don't have any pentacles here yet. Yeah, you want to give something from your past one more try, okay? Um, I kind of feel like, you know, you you know that you probably could have had everything that you wanted with, with this person, okay? But you chose to go in a different direction, all right? And, um, you know, this caused a lot of pain for you and for somebody else, okay? All right, so... What else can I tell you, Leo? But it is showing up that one year from now, you, you're going to rush back. Well, it might be less than a year, but yeah. You may have been dealing with a, with a Scorpio, but something came to an end for a new beginning. Or you want to have a new beginning with this person and give it another try, okay? Because I think you know where you're... Uh, where you can actually, you know, make a lot of finances together with this person or something like that, anyway. But, you know, it's, it's there's a lot of toxic behavior or you have an attachment to this person. Maybe it's sexual, um, maybe it's not, you know, but there's a message. Either you're going to send a message or they're going to message you, okay, the past person. So, all right. Yeah, somebody's feeling mentally tied and trapped, okay, with their finances also. But I feel that, in, you know, starting starting in January, you're going to start working on your finances, you know. It's going to be replenished if you're feeling a lack, 
Okay, we have somebody that uh, wants to speak to you. Okay, the Queen of Swords is somebody who speaks the truth and cuts out what she doesn't, no longer serves her, okay? You may be feeling tied and trapped to the Queen of Swords, okay? But, yeah, oh. Look, Leo, there is there might be a sudden change that is coming your way due to a toxic behaviour, okay? Um, I kind of feel that the Queen of Swords wants justice. Somebody is leaving a situation. Somebody's turning their back and leaving a situation. The Queen of Wands, okay? That could be you. Feeling tied and trapped, okay? Maybe, look, if this was a third-party situation... Let's not speak too soon. All right, what else do you want to tell Leo? Oh. Take a leap of faith, Leo. Take a leap of faith, okay? You may have done that. You may have done that, but, you know, if you take a leap of faith, if this, if this situation ends up in a separation or a divorce, you are going to be happy. Believe it or not, you're going to be happy, okay? Um, but it's it's a matter of taking the steps to walk away from what's keeping you tied and trapped, okay? Maybe you're um, sticking around for finances, but you're going to be happy and you're going to move on to calmer waters, okay? All right. Leo, yeah. Leo, look, you're going to come out of this. There is a hurt that, but you're going to come out of it, okay? There's your victory. You're gonna get a victory once you come out of this hurt, okay? I kind of feel like you are gonna take a leap of faith, okay? You don't wanna feel mentally tied and trapped anymore. It's it's just not working in your favor. You've given it so many tries, okay? The King of Wands, there you go. You got your victory, Leo. An ending is coming for a new beginning to begin and you're gonna move on to calmer waters. Emotionally, you're gonna give your cup of love to somebody else, okay? This is a wish fulfillment that is going to be for you, but you know, you're you're grieving at the same time, so you're not prepared to come forward right now, but you will emotionally give your cup of love to somebody, okay? Because I kind of feel like the decision you made to give your cup of love to what you thought was your wish fulfillment um, didn't work out. It didn't work out for you, but you gave it a try, okay? Now you're emotionally ready to give your cup of love to somebody, somebody that you can move forward with okay you want to communicate with this person and you want to release some heavy burdens between the two of you there's your ten of cups that's what you should have went for from the beginning okay leo you're going to get your ten of cups you're going to move into a happy home there's a change of residence there's a reason to celebrate there's a there's a victory that is coming your way you're making plans to leave the situation you're going to cut out what no longer serves you okay you put in a lot of hard work and effort yeah you're putting in a lot of hard work and, and effort to um to have made things happen but you you just end up at this crossroad okay so choose a direction leo and you know cut out what no longer serves you because i do feel that this is a legal situation all right and then you can op offer your cup of love to somebody so you know you want to move fast on this leo because whoever you want to offer your cup of love to could be with somebody else could be with somebody else okay and they may cut you off okay so you know if you're gonna procrastinate about what you want in life uh, you'll miss out on things okay so this person person you want to offer your cup of love to okay that you want to give a commitment to this is somebody you hurt this is somebody you kept stuck okay you were stuck you were stuck maybe because of commitment this may have been a third party situation but it's somebody that you did hurt okay and you want to try and make things right now so um you know you need to make a head over heart decision about your home, your stability and your finances, okay? Because you are going to be left out in the cold. 
and I do feel that, you know, it is because of a third party situation, because of the secrets and the lies, okay, but you have a passionate new beginning coming your way, your Nine of Cups is, is on its way, and you want to make an offer to, to somebody, okay, the Empress, you want to make an offer to the Empress, somebody that you know that you can have a passionate new beginning, somebody that cares for you, somebody that will protect you. All right, Leo, um, what else can I tell you? But I do feel that you are giving something another try, okay? But you you ended something and you want to you wanna go back and fix something, okay? Because you feel that you made the wrong decision by what you did, okay? All right, Leo, what else can the cards tell you? What do you want to tell Leo? I think we've got an upside down card in here. What do you want to tell Leo? What do you want to tell Leo? Hmm, I thought I had an upside down card. Yeah. All right, we need a few more cards for Leo. What do you want to tell Leo? Leo, you got big happy changes that are coming. I told you, if you leave this relationship that you're currently in, something good is gonna come your way. You got big happy changes, okay? You've got lots of abundance. So financially, you're going to be okay. There's no need to worry. In the near future, it is going to be up to you because there is a peaceful resolution, okay? Now, I've got a card here with a yes or no answer. So if you've got a question that you want answered, Think about what your question is, and I'll just pull out a couple of cards here for some reason. All right. Whatever your question is, the answer is yes. Okay? All right. But just to clarify, there is something that is coming to an end you are going to be going on a different journey. You are going to be turning your back on what no longer serves you. And it is a new path for you, okay? A cycle that was supposed to come to an end. Some people come into your life for a reason or a season. And, um, you know, this season went on for many, many seasons, okay? But um, this person came into your life for a reason. All right, so what have we got here? We've got chakras, they're not supposed to be in there, okay. Now I have to go through the book. You got the card of Cornucopio, okay. Cornucopio is success, abundance in all areas of your life, okay. Financially, you're going to be okay by November. By November, you got finances that are coming in, okay. All right, let's see if I can get you another card because we got chakra cards and I didn't want those. Somebody is thinking of you that loves you very deeply, Leo, okay? This person is a healer. You go to this person, they will heal you or you will heal them. But you need to heal a situation, okay? All right, one more and then I'll check what the chakras are. Oh my God, it was another chakra. Okay. What are you doing to me, Leo? Lot of blocked energies okay okay the sixth chakra is archangel Met metatron now this is talking about your vision your personal vision where you want to see yourself in the next few years okay what is it that you want in your life you need to be have a little bit more clarity on your thoughts, Leo, okay? Because um, you're, you're so fixated with 
what you have that you don't see that it could improve any better but you know stop being fixated because clarity of your thoughts personal vision what is it that you want to see for yourself okay think about the next five years where you're going to be are you going to be living in the same place i don't think so are you going to be doing the same job i don't think so okay but you need to have a clear vision all right that's what that card is telling you you've got archangel ariel okay um god leo why do you have to be a long way all right card here is telling you that you need to get creative all right um it's also talks about intimacy okay so i kind of feel like there's an there's a blocked energy there with your partner um the intimacy the the creativeness out of it okay um there's no creative creativity going on in this intimacy all right um so you know it's something that you desire uh, a lot in your life is to be creative in intimacy and to have the perfect partner and this card is telling you that you are not with that partner okay intimacy is blocked here all right all right your other card is telling you okay your seventh chakra what else is blocked okay your um your connection to the spirit world is blocked okay you're not in your um high priestess energy you need to get back into that energy your intuition is not working in your favor right now you need to open that back up again because that is blocked something is blocking it uh, i kind of feel like between the intimacy and the and you know you're blocked you're blocked in you're blocked in your intimacy, you're blocked in your vision, you're blocked in your um, sexual energy, okay? And I think this is all due to you not being on the right path, okay? So you need to make a decision here what you want to do because you can have it all if you want. You can have the finances, you can have the intimacy, you can have the accolades, you can have whatever you want, but you are not with the right partner to be able to do that, okay? Where you are now with your partner, that's it. There's no more growth. That's all that can happen, okay? It's not going to go any further, all right? You're also the healer of ages, okay? So you need to go either towards this person that loves you, that it will heal you, or you will heal that person. But in the 11th month, November, you've got big finances that are coming your way and everything that you can want, okay? But you need to start a process. And I kind of feel that you don't have to. The process is going to start for you around about June. Okay, it, it's going to be a build up, but June, July is going to be the crunch line for you. Okay, all right. Leo, I wish you all the best and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.